So I figured I'd take the time to, to talk about the difference between the East Coast and the West Coast in terms of long-term camping, from, as far as I can tell. So the East Coast, uh, both si first of all, both sides, uh, uh, both the East Coast and the West Coast and, and the Middle America, you know, they all have uh, squatting people, and, and that's illegal. But uh, in terms of, I'm just talking about the legal side of camping. Uh, so ba basically, um, you know, actually I'll talk about both. I'll talk about the illegal and the illegal and the legal side um, uh, of camping long term. So the, besides the squatters, uh, there's people that squat. And it seems that squatting seems to be more popular on the West Coast than the East Coast. But there is squatters on the East Coast as well. Um, I don't think it's probably, they probably don't have money for, enough money for gas to get to the West Coast or vice versa. So that's the reason why they're stuck there. Or their vehicles broken down, etc. Very old. They don't want to, you know, overuse it. Um, uh, but anyway, besides the squatters, uh, I would say that the uh, the uh, West Coast is more suitable for legal uh, BLM camping because you can camp in the BLM land, the desert, which is also the desert known as the BLM land uh, Bureau of Land Management. Uh, you can camp there for. Um, extended periods as long as you have like a specific permit some areas some areas you can probably make make do without like some states like probably like there's some areas that that have like its own government like like through like the mormons or whatever they probably run things so you could probably have an easier time there but it's like the wild west so in those areas like the wild west anyway so i haven't been to those areas yet uh I've only i've only camped in quartzite blm lands and uh lake havasu blm land i've never been to any other blm land in, in uh anywhere but at those parts of arizona on the west coast um never been to california yet except that blight to get an oil change anyway so uh, uh the national forests on the east coast unfortunately have hunting season and you can hunt on the west coast too but um the difference between the east coast and the west coast is they kick you out for you can't disperse camp on on the national forest in the east coast during hunting season and it lasts a long time and, and it's all it's also during the winter in florida unfortunately in florida the winter the snowbirds you know can't camp on the in the national forest because the hunting season doesn't let you disperse camp there for, i guess for safety reasons you know even if you, you all have guns including the person disperse camping it wouldn't really work because you know like you're in the forest and nobody can see you camping in there and tree bolts can happen so you know uh, anyway um point is that the east coast isn't isn't good for long-term camping even in the national forest where it says you can disperse camp for free uh you can't really because hunting season's during the best time of year to uh to uh camp I, I guess i don't know i haven't been to the, any northern national forests in the east coast yet so i don't know but uh i will get back to make a full a fuller video eventually on that subject but as far as i know the west coast is better for long-term camping legally and both sides are pretty good for squatting but still the west coast is more of a squatting uh a squatting uh, community than the east coast does as far as i can tell florida has some squatters uh california has a lot of squat more squatters and uh i think portland oregon has a lot more squatters than uh, even california though I'm, I'm unsure about that uh i haven't been to portland oregon myself i know montana has um, from watching nick johnson's videos i know montana has a lot of squatters too and a lot of these states do have squatters everywhere uh, in the poor areas and etc cities and all that but if you want to do legal camping, I would suggest going to BLM land and just, just like, you know, get going to an LTVA somewhere, a long-term visitor area, and uh, paying for the permit so you can stay like seven months in that area during the snowbird season. Because the LTVs aren't open during the um, summer, um, it seems, in, in, at least in Arizona. 